morning dear student in today's lecture we will discuss the second type of the reaction that is the hydrolysis reaction between the metal complexes and the nucleotides uh in earlier lecture we will discuss uh, we already discuss the redox reaction in this lecture we are very much interested in the hydrolysis reaction so we are very much familiar with this hydrolysis reaction hydrolysis that is the cleavage of bond by the addition of water it is known as hydrolysis reaction so the cleavage of this nucleic acid refer to a reaction that results in the breakage of bond in the phosphodiester backbone chain so what is this cleavage of this nucleic acid refer to a reaction that results into the breakage of bond breakage of bond in the phospho phospho diester backbone chain backbone chain of nucleotide breakage of bond in the phospho diester backbone chain so two type of reactions are resulting in the cleavage two type of reaction two type of cleavage first that is phosphorus oxygen bond cleavage and second that is carbon oxygen bond cleavage so two type of cleavage is there one is phosphorus oxygen bond cleavage and carbon oxygen bond cleavage is there so we are very much interested in the phosphorus oxygen bond cleavage the cleavage of phosphorus oxygen bond occur as a result of nucleophilic attack on the phosphorus atom via either intermolecular or intramolecular uh water uh, intermolecular or intramolecular way so the cleavage of this phosphorus oxygen atom occur as a result of nucleophilic attack nucleophilic attack on phosphorus atom so cleavage of phosphorus bond phosphorus oxygen bond is occur by nucleophilic attack on phosphorus atom so uh, it has a two root one is intermolecular reaction with water molecule first that is intermolecular reaction with water molecule with h2o known as hydrolysis intermolecular reaction with water known as hydrolysis means the nucleophile water it directly attack on this phosphorus atom and there is a cleavage of phosphorus oxygen atom it is known as intermolecular known as hydrolysis and second that is intramolecular reaction intramolecular reaction involving involving the ribose the sugar ribose 2 hydroxyl group intramolecular reaction involving the ribose 2 hydroxyl group so we are very much familiar with this ribose sugar it is found in rna molecule so the intramolecular reaction involving the ribose 2 oh so this hydroxyl ion oh ion uh, oh which is attached to carbon number second it is act as a nucleophile and it involve in the cleavage of phosphorus oxygen bond and such a uh, kind of reaction this intramolecular reaction is known as transesterification transesterification it is known as transesterification so you should remember that the transesterification is specific to rna molecule only 
so this reaction is specific only for rna it is not found in dna or not used for the cleavage of dna frag because uh, if you consider uh, the hydroxyl group or the oh group is missing at carbon number second uh, in this uh, sugar molecule of dna so this uh, intramolecular reaction involving the ribose 2 oh it is known as transesterification and it is specific in only for rna molecule this transesterification uh, can be catalyzed by acid base that is alkali acid alkali and some metal ions so we are very much interested uh, at least you should know what is this intermolecular reaction and intramolecular reaction one is hydrolysis and second is transesterification whenever we consider a transesterification you should remember the fragment is rna molecule it is not dna molecule so let us discuss this reaction and then we discuss the role of this metal complexes in the cleavage of this uh, phosphorus oxygen bond okay so let us discuss first the intermolecular reaction with water so if you consider the intermolecular hydrolysis so let us first consider intermolecular hydrolysis intermolecular hydrolysis so if you consider this is your sugar molecule this is your base okay x x may be your h or oh either it is dna or rna molecule is and this is your ch2 r group is there okay and this oxygen it is attached to this double bond o o minus again it is attached to another molecule and this is your base again this is your oxygen here again it is x x may be your h or oh h if it is h then it is dna fragment if it is oh then it is rna fragment and then it is p double bond o o minus and this is your r group so this is your fragment the reaction so water hydrolysis oh minus so water dissociate to give h plus and oh minus i this hydroxyl ion it is directly uh, attack on the phosphorus atom so it will attack on this phosphorus atom there is a bond making bond breaking step so what you get here see here what you get here p o minus is there this is o minus is there and this is your oh is there and this phosphorus it is attached to oxygen this is your base oxygen p double bond o o minus and this is your r group again this it is also attached to this so we can write here this is your r so the nucleophile is directly attack on this phosphorus and then what happen when this o minus when uh, return to this this bond will cleaves and what you get here uh, here what you get here it is your x uh, this is your x here is also x so here we get o minus this is your r base is there and it will takes h plus so this o minus will abstract this proton so it will convert into this this is your x oh this is your base and this is your r okay so what happen in this case so we get this and the remaining 
uh, if you consider here what you get here we get double bond o p double bond o and this is your o minus this is your another o minus is there and which is attached and this oxygen is attached to this the remaining group is x this is your base this is your o p double bond o o minus and this is your r group is there so we get this p double bond o o minus o minus so this is the cleavage and this is considered as a hydrolysis reaction hydrolysis means the nucleophile is your what uh, the reactions with water and this nucleophile it is directly attack on this phosphorus atom and there is a cleavage the phosphorus oxygen bond cleavage and we get the product so this is known as hydrolysis reaction let us discuss the trans uh, esterification reaction so trans esterification it is intramolecular trans esterification so it is an intramolecular reaction so we can write here so if you consider this reaction that is this is your base in this case here is oh you should remember this is a rna fragment this oxygen is there it is attached to p double bond o o minus is there p double bond o o minus is there and the remaining is r group is there this is your r1 here we can consider this as your ch2 and this is your r group is there okay so this is your fragment so in this case this oh which is attached to carbon number second it is act as a nucleophile so it will attack on this phosphorus it will attack on this phosphorus and there is a removal of this r group is there so what you get so transesterification transesterification minus r1 so what you get here uh, we get this is your base uh, this is your oxygen this is your oxygen so both are attached to this phosphorus and there is a double bond o and this is your o minus again this is your ch2 r group is there okay so we get this species so this is your intramolecular transesterification it is an rna fragment so we can consider and then i turn to go hydrolysis reaction undergo hydrolysis reaction first that is transesterification and second is hydrolysis reaction uh, after hydrolysis reaction this oh minus will attack on this phosphorus atom and we get two uh, kind of product so when it attack for example this oh minus is attack this bond will break or this bond will also break so we get two different types of product so what you get here Uh, we get this this is the base oh is there ch2r is there o p double bond o o minus and o minus p double bond o and o minus is there okay so in this oh minus when it attack on this phosphorus one of the phosphorus oxygen bond is break so in this case this bond is break first let us consider the carbon number 2 so uh, the carbon number uh, the oxygen which is attached to carbon number 2 it will cleaves the bond that is the cleavage of phosphorus oxygen bond and we get this okay so the oh minus get tautomerized to give this final product and similarly what you get we get this this is your base this is your oxygen 
this is your phosphorus uh, double bond O is there uh, O minus is there O minus is there and here is OH and we get this R group is there so this is the product and this is known as trans esterification reaction trans esterification followed by hydrolysis so we get two different product in the next lecture we will discuss uh, the role of metal complexes in this hydrolysis and trans esterification reaction so at least you should know uh, how the hydrolysis is going on and how the trans esterification whenever you consider trans esterification then we consider uh, rna as your the phosphodiester backbone okay rna fragment is there and which undergo hydrolysis reaction in next lecture we will discuss the role of metal complexes in hydrolysis and the trans esterification reaction so this is all about the hydrolysis reaction thank you